the Yezu FT7250 dual band Yezu System Fusion mobile radio coming up. Hey guys, uh, KC5HWB here. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. If this is your first time to join us here, please click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos that we post on this channel, anything that's new in amateur radio. So this is, I'm, I'm deviating from my mini DMR videos and I'm doing a Yezu System Fusion video for this newish, new newest, I'll put it that way, it's newest uh, radio from Yezu, newest mobile radio from Yezu. Uh, that is the FT7250, and set it up here so you guys can see it better. It is preliminary testing. Um, I like it, but I don't like it as well as the FTM100, which has been my only System Fusion mobile radio that I've owned up until I got this. Uh, I've never owned an FTM 400. So, and they've got a couple other versions out right now. They've got a, a, a mono band 2 meter and a mono band 440. Uh, I forget the numbers on them. It's like 3250 and 3270 or something like that. I don't remember what they are. But, um, um, they, and I think those are more than like, uh, more than your standard 40, 50 watt. I think those are like 65 watt radios, something like that. So they're mono band, they're a little bit more high power, and they, they'll do system fusion, but, it's just it's just monoband so you know and a lot of times monoband is okay because sometimes you just these these folks that are running digital only repeaters they'll just do it in 440 so depends on what's in your area check in your area but this is the dual band version and i like it um it's uh it's only a single display in other words, it's it'll go to two meters and 440, but it'll only display and monitor one band at a time. The screen is much smaller, as you can see right here. I'm going to go through the menus in just a second, and uh, then we're going to do some key ups on um, uh, through through one of my hotspots into a a, a Wirezx uh, FCS reflector. So stay tuned. This is first out of the box, powering on the radio, and it's going to ask me for my call sign the way it should since it transmits that information over GPS when you're in digital mode. So it says push VM button. And then I'm going to do this from the keypad of the mic right here. That's not right. I need to do numbers. Oh, I wonder if he... Oh, there we go. Okay, now I need to figure out how to back up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what, so what this is, this number over here on the right, is the space. I thought maybe you could put multiple call signs in it, but no, that's... First space, second space, third space. To do a number, I'm touching the up-down channel selector on the top of the mic. So, let's go through the whole alphabet. There we go. Okay, so I can, so you can use this knob here to go through the whole alphabet. That. Easier, it's, it's easier using this than it is using the keypad, in my opinion. I can even put in a slash if I want to do. If I want to take it out, take it overseas or something. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we can go back into setup. 
my call and confirm that's correct. So just kerchunk the PTT when you're out of there. Okay, now we're going to go, so band, it will not transmit on 220 band, but that's cool that it will receive 440, 470, aircraft band AM, 108 megahertz AM, and back to uh, 2 meters. So, now I'm in auto. Okay. So you can change here the mode. Now, I'm, this is AMS mode, TX manual, FM fixed, digital, and auto. That's good. The flashing DN there on the bottom right of the screen means we're in digital mode. Digital narrow. And I can switch it right there. AMS. DN. Long press does digital ID. DG-ID. I can change that. Megahertz, I can... It's just a quicker way of tuning manually. And then the long press on this key on the... That's my call sign. VM is obviously VFO memory mode. And then manual mode here. I can right memory there uh, the MW on the bot on this the long press on this far right key is MW which means I can tune in a channel I want and write to memory so if I go I'm 90% sure it will not transmit on 220 now let's go to 224 that's my all-star node inside no, it won't transmit on 220 as I suspected. Okay, now. Okay, it will transmit there. F. I'll have to look up and see what that F is. Fixed, maybe? No, that's not what I'm in. Group. D. Ah, okay, so that's FM, digital. Now it's trying to query the repeater. Which there is no repeater around here on, <laughs> on this frequency. This is the frequency of my hotspot. So you can go digital. trying to query the repeater on that frequency to see what wires X room it might be in. I can switch to FM if I want. Back to digital narrow. If that's what DN means. So it doesn't have the line over the top of it to tell you when you're in AMS mode. I know I'm in AMS mode by long pressing this key right here, this the second key from the left. The screen on it is, you know, rather small and obviously it's just single display at a time. So um, it's not as, it doesn't give you as much information on the screen as like the FTM 100 does, or especially the FTM 400. The screen on that thing's huge. One other thing to note here, I just used this menu to, uh, reprogram my call sign, or edit my call sign, rather. But the long press of this setup menu here takes you into a 57-page menu. 57 is where my call sign is. So these are all the menus here.
mic gain. That might be helpful. Memory name. Open message. Programming key. RF squelch. Tone frequency. Step. What does this step do? Okay, it'll go down to a 5 kilohertz step, but not a, not a 2.5. It will do the 6.25, and it'll do the 12.5, so you should be able to get where you want to on the 12.5 for sure, and the 6.25, obviously, but it won't go down to 2.5 step, so good to know. VFO mode, yeah. DCS, digital AMS, digital, oh, there it is, okay. Digital voice wide off, so I can set the voice wide there. Instead of doing digital narrow DN mode, where it does, when you transmit, it does 6.25 kilohertz in voice and 6.25 kilohertz in GPS. You can turn it to, to voice wide to, to where it takes up the entire 12.5 kilohertz spectrum with just your audio, trans, your phone transmission. Okay, let's go back. This is what I'm curious about here. Is. Okay, the P1 t key takes you into that menu on the mic here. I'm talking about on the mic right here. P1, P2, P3, and P4. P2 does nothing. P3 goes into wires mode. Which again, there's nothing on this frequency I'm on. P P3 puts that in wires mode. P4, that's your... Oh, okay. These keys are programmable. These P1 through P4 keys are programmable. I was looking for transmit power. Okay, the A button on the microphone, this one at the top, goes you into uh, megahertz mode. The B button changes bands. C button changes your squelch. Oh, there it is. Three power settings. Okay, now. Um, yeah, that's not a power meter. <laughs> Drawing about two and a half amps on low power. Run about 8 amps on high power. KC5 HWV testing. Going into a dummy load right now, so it doesn't matter. But Okay, anyway, that's the, uh, that's the full menu there, including the buttons on the microphone. As you may have noticed, the background looks a little bit different. Uh, I started recording this video during the shack redesign, and I'm finishing the this video up after the shack redesign has been it's not 100 percent complete but it's probably over 90 percent complete now so um so that's the 7250 as we just saw i'm going to close this video with the final clip of a uh, short clip of the wires x youtubers net hosted by bob k6 uda it is on because i don't have this memorized wires x room 40448 or FCS 003 slash 48 on your hotspot. So if you have a HRI 200 box with a WiresX connection, uh, it's room 40448. And this net takes place most Sundays at noon Central Time, which is 10 a.m. Pacific Time. And uh, if you have an open spot or a Pi Star, which is how I used to get into it, it's uh, FCS 003 slash 48. So take a look at this clip. Let me know in the comments below who uses this radio, um, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, K6 UDA, I am looking for your topics because, again, I don't want to hear myself talk. I want to talk about what you guys want to talk about. So let's, uh, uh, whatever you guys want to talk about, let's hear it. November 5, Lima, Lima. Uh, 
All right, N five L L Larry, go ahead. Uh, take it away. Yeah, good afternoon, my time. Good morning, your time. Uh, KCQDA in the group, November 5, Lima, Lima, San Antonio. Well, since you throw it out, um, I uh, finally pulled the uh, pulled the trigger on getting that uh, uh, IC7100. should be arriving hopefully sometime this week. And one of the things I want to play with is uh, D-Star. So why don't you give us a quick uh, overview or premiere or whatever on... Uh, Using D-Star, especially in, uh, uh, I guess, the UHF, VHF uh, mode on uh, such a radio, over. Ah, uh, yes, the 7100 in D-Star. Uh, very, very powerful radio. Uh, it does have a lot of features, especially for being something that is... I think close to seven or eight years old now on the market, which uh, in you know in, in today's technology might as well be a hundred years old, uh, but uh, still a very very uh, capable radio. It does a lot of features, and D Star under it is uh, is fairly easy. It's kind of a mix between the old way of doing D-Star and the new way of doing D-Star. They do have a lot of the, the newer features. So you can plug in a D-Star repeater, or in my case, what I like to do is set up a hot spot uh, just like a repeater and just uh, fool the radio into believing that it's a repeater. So uh, once I do that, then you can use the uh, you can use a bunch of the uh, oh, hang on here you can use a bunch of the features of the radio um, to uh, uh, to move around and um, hang on I gotta get rid of that phone uh, you could use the features in the radio to move around do all the commands linking and unlinking and uh, and uh, doing information checks all that stuff, you do still have to remember when you're programming it that you have those eight characters, and it's like uh, like an REF00, uh, zero, what is it, 030 Charlie link, and you got to put that L command in there to link it to uh, whatever you want, wherever you want to go, like 30 Charlie or whatever, and let it drop.